outside affecting all of us in one way or another, but there are reasons to brave the cold and head out to a place like the center on a day like this. Yes, it is. Um, well, with it being dark so early and you wanting to isolate, it's a good place to come, make so social connections and um, enjoy some of our programs in the evenings made for those who work nine to five. All right, so let's run through some of the highlight of some of the programs in the evenings that maybe um, that you're most fond of. One especially is line dancing. Um, <laughs> another warm is, up. oh, absolutely. Um, we also have speaker series. We have movies, and next week we'll have a Thursdays around five concert series. And evening hours focus on what what, uh, what time of the day? What do you, what parts of the evening? Um, so Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we're open until eight p.m. Um, and then, of course, um, our normal hours during the day. And do you find people are still coming out when the weather turns like this, that people are still interested in gathering? Oh, absolutely. Those social connections and um, getting out, communicating with others, it's really big these days. And the, the list of programs, even in, I mean, o over the course of the day, there are hundreds, but in the evening, there are countless, I imagine that are a, a wide variety of options for people. Yes, anything, like I said, from um, intellectual learning to line dancing, ping pong, um, we even have a game night. <laughs> <laughs> uh, some people, especially as we age, get less and less comfortable with driving after dark. Any, any thoughts as far as if people do want to come out, but maybe that isn't in their wheelhouse? Well, we rely um, heavily on jaunt, and um, Albemarle County now has now released micro cut, mm -hmm. so if you're in that um, route, you're more than welcome to use them. Right, if people are looking to learn more about the center, whether it's the evening options or just throughout the day or the week. Join me tomorrow, actually. I um, have an orientation um, January 17th from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. Oh, that's perfect. And online, of course, you can always get information, but in person for an orientation, I imagine, is ideal. Makes it more personal. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anything else you want to add about the center, what's coming up in 2024? Well, you can always just uh, keep up with us on the center um, website at thecenterseville.org. All right, Laquanda, appreciate it as always. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Thank you. Casey?